Hi, this video will cover the overview of the basic interface of Google Analytics's audience overview section and we'll look into what areas are important, what you should know and how to modify this information to learn a bit more about your business and how the website is behaving for it. First thing we want to do is starting from the top, we'll have a look at the time frame of your information. By default Google Analytics will look at the last 30 days of your website's performance but you can come in and modify that time frame to be specifically what you would like it to be. In this particular instance we're looking at the 1st to the 30th of November, so the full month, but if you wish to you can make it a week, a full month, or even a series of months. Depending on what time frame you select, we'll modify the analytics and the information that is presented to be representative of that time frame. So going back to a month of time, we can also use this tool to compare to existing months and again applying that will modify our analytic results to show how the performance has changed between those two comparative months and reflect the metrics that we display here in a similar fashion. For this basic introduction to the tools we will basically look at 30 days of trading for this particular website and see how their metrics have reflected people's interaction with their website and the behavior once people have got there. So in this particular case we can see that selecting this time frame has produced a graph showing the, an overview of the visits to the website over those last 30 days. You can use this tool to specify alternative metrics if you'd like to, for example the bounce rate or the average visit duration people spend on your website over those last 30 days. But the visits are quite often going to give us the most uh, indicative case of how people are finding our website and spending time on our website. We can also change time frames such as hours, days or weeks to dictate what kind of information we're being presented. But again, by default days are represented and they give you a very clear idea over the time frame you're looking at on a day by day basis how people are behaving with your website. We can use this metric graph to find trends in the data, so any days that are more popular than others, we can find fluctuations and spikes of particularly busy days, and also find days that are particularly quiet to see if we can identify some trends and, uh, and use these to learn a bit more about how our business is tracking uh, visitors to its website and when time the time might be right to push promotions to people. For example, in this case, we see that almost consistently Saturdays are quiet days for this website so these might not be the best days to be putting on any particular promotions or updating information um, because the audience obviously isn't there on those particular days whereas we have some days such as Mondays where the traffic spikes particularly high and these would be the best times to capture that particular audience. Moving on we can see alternative m metrics for the website this will give us an overview of visitors coming to the website and what they do once they get there on a very broad spectrum. So starting from the top we can see that in the past 30 days of November 579 unique visitors visited that website. What that means is this is people who have only been to the website once or, or single instances of a visit to the website whereas our number of 877 visits dictates any repeat visitors as well. So the number of visitors to your website in addition to number multiple visits from individual visitors. So this will give you a good idea of how much traffic that's coming to the website and a broader spectrum of how many individuals are actually coming to the website as well. Now of those 579 visitors we can see that they accumulated a total of 3,574 page views. So these are the actual numbers of individual pages that were viewed amongst those different visitors breaking down to an average of four pages per visit. All of these numbers basically dictate to you once a person has gone to your website, on average they are spending about four page, uh, pages of uh, views and this will give you an idea if, there is, if this number is getting particularly low then you might be concerned that your visitors aren't interested in viewing any additional information and if there's a particular high it means that people are getting a bit more engaged with the material on your website. We can also see we have an average visit duration Again, this will be the average of any extreme, so if people just came to the website for a very short time or for people that would spend a very long time on your website, this is breaking down what that average number would be. So the accuracy of it can be a bit questionable. We also see the percentage of new visits, so that's the number of people who visited your website last month who had never been to your website before. Again, keeping this particularly high would be good because you always want to be attracting new audience and new visitors to your website to generate those new business leads. Now one of the statistics we quite often want to get asked about is the bounce rate, something you may not have heard of before, but what this dictates is how many people come to the home page of your website and then leave without visiting anything further. 
so they may close their window or navigate away from the site and this could be in cases where they've come to your website mistakenly or maybe they even came to the home page and got all the information they need and didn't have to pursue any further. If this gets particularly high then you want to make sure that the content on your home page is engaging and there's no deterrent for people to be leaving your website. Finally we have a simple graph here which dictates the difference between the returning and new visitors to your website. Uh, this is good to look at once a month or as regularly as possible just to make sure that the number of people coming to your website uh, is at least a high proportion of those are new visitors if again to make sure you are generating those new business leads. Now, it's, a, it's a very basic overview of the audience. In the other videos will go into more specific details about their behavior once they get to your website. But this gives you a good idea of general information you can view on a somewhat regular basis uh, to keep an idea of how your website is tracking as far as traffic is concerned.